hello and welcome back to my craft room i'm going to make another little video this afternoon in my mini series um, reviewing a selection of uk-based arts and crafts subscription boxes um, it's that time of year when we start to think about christmas shopping and wish lists and i think subscription boxes are just a brilliant gift idea i've got six stroke seven <laughs> Uh, boxes to look at all very different all UK based different um, kind of activities and approaches and price points um, what I'm going to do is this week I'm going to open each day I'll open a box have a look at the contents quick look at the website and then next week I'll come back and do the activity for each of the boxes and at the end of each of those videos I'll do a bit of a summing up of what I thought I've got a certain certain criteria to look at see what we thought see what you thought and um I hope you find it interesting and useful. I'm really looking forward to getting into each of these boxes and then playing with all the different contents. It's like a little second Christmas for me. <laughs> so um, on the first day I looked at the Maker's Flock box. They also do a, make, a main Maker's box. Then the next day I looked at Deborah Beads and Debbie sent me a bead box and a kit box. She does the two kinds. She actually does a junior bead box as well. On day three, I looked at schooler box. So, so the makers is felting. Uh, Deborah beads is jewelry making, beady jewelry making. Schooler box is art supplies. Um, and then I've got a stitch kit box to look at and a cozy craft club. Today we're going to look at craftiosity. I know what craft is inside this one. It's something very different from all of the other boxes. So I can't wait to get in and have a go. Let's have a, let's go straight to the desk and uh, have a look. So this is, the, this is the box. It's a really nice box. I do like it. And I would, I will keep this box and reuse it as a gift box. So whether you're lucky enough to have a subscription box yourself as a gift, or you've uh, bought it as a gift for someone else, whether they're a newbie crafter or a seasoned crafter like myself with a whole room to of stuff. <laughs> It's always fun to get this little box of goodness in, in the post, whichever whichever subscription box you choose. Um, the presentation obviously is really important and I think lots of you guys like me are really concerned not only about how, how that it looks beautiful and it's fun to open, but also that it's environmentally friendly. So that is going to be one of the criteria I will look at when I kind of do my summing up at the end of this little series. So this is the Craftiosity box. It comes in a compostable mailer as well, which I've taken off because it had my address. Let's go inside. And of course, you know, with all subscription boxes, not just this one, this moment of opening the box is just... Oh. It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> I already know how beautiful these are because I've had one before. I mean, that is lovely, isn't it? Have a wonderful afternoon. Share your product project on social media with hashtag craftiosity and so the adventure begins this is beautiful isn't it that is really lovely let's see if i can manage to open it without ruining it <laughs> well, this just makes you want to color in doesn't it that is cute that is really nice presentation oh they've changed the color of, of the packaging since i saw this last can you guess can you guess what what the activity is here we go that's my instructions as well there's some clay tools there's a paintbrush whoops put that back in let's have a look number six round paintbrush three little uh, clay tools the instructions we'll have a better look at in a minute i love this crinkly stuff I've always seen pink before with these, so there's obviously this different colour here. I always keep this and reuse it, it's brilliant stuff. We've got a rolling pin. And we've got two bottles of acrylic paint. One is in this lovely kind of a almost denim y blue colour, like faded denim. What colour is that? cold grey well, it says cold grey but it looks really blue to me and a black mm -hmm. and then we've got a block of Daz 
modeling clay air drawing clay I don't think I've missed anything I think that's it so here we go this is what we get in the box oh, I do love it I do love a craft box <laughs> so um nice little selection of goodies to play with there let's see what we're going to be making the speckled cloud clay dish now part of the reason I chose this is that I looked at it and straight away thought of a couple of little excuse my inky fingers by the way <laughs> I had a bit of an accident with the pen earlier on <laughs> um, I straight away thought of a couple of little modifications I could make to this to make it useful for a specific purpose for me because I think that's one of the things with um, subscription boxes and stuff you can always do your they give me they give you the scope to kind of do your own thing I like it if if I can just sort of play around and do my own thing with it a bit and um, this is the that's a that's a template for later hello craft connoisseur I think I spelled that wrong there should be an I in there I have an inbuilt spell checker <laughs> Thank you for choosing the speckled clay dish craft kit. We're thrilled to be a part of your artistic adventure. That's what I want, an artistic adventure. Nice little message, lovely uh, image. I really like that. And then we get a little leaflet here that tells you what's in the kit. So 500 grams of white das air dry modeling clay, set of three clay tools, wooden rolling pin, cold grey acrylic paint, black acrylic paint, paintbrush and design template. You will also need scissors, a small pot of water and paper. Well, I think I probably have all those things. Top tips, protect your work surface, keep your unused clay covered to prevent it from drying out, not intended for children, blah, 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 blah. and then we've got all these instructions here to make it really easy to do the craft. So that's I will be trying that out next week. Um, and they make these four little bobbles to make the, the the kind of feet of the dish. How long does the tutorial take? It will take approximately two to three hours to make and paint your dish, plus around 72 hours of drying time. Oh, make it your own way. Key tips to experimenting. Get creative with colours, explore different designs, try a new shape. That's what I've got in mind. Cut out any shape you'd like. What I'm thinking, what I'd like to do, can you see that there well enough? Yeah, instead of making it flat and level, I'm going to see if I can make the little legs bigger on one end so that it slopes down with a little pouring lip at the, at the other end, at the tipped up end, because I think it would be really useful for putting beads in. So that's that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do when I when I tip all my beads out or sequins, whatever I might be using, I can kind of gather them in a little a little pool at one end and in and when I want to tip them back into the pot, I can tip it up. I, I'll explain I'll explain what I mean next week. Don't really need to know that now. There's a video tutorial available and there's a password there for me to use. And they look like really nice instructions. It remains to be seen when I try them out. How good they are. But they look really nice, clear photos and and uh, instructions. And as I say, I do like that. I've got the scope to kind of do my own thing with it a little bit. So the other thing I wanted to do that I've done with the others is to have a quick look at the Craftiosity website. So here we go. Um, this is the the actual kit that I've got. You can see it see it a bit better there actually. Here's what we've got in the kit. Um, if you bought that box on its own, you can you can buy the boxes um, where they're still available. You can buy them individually. So it would be you know you could always just uh, buy one to try out or or as a gift. So that's twenty seven ninety five. Let's see what we've got. Subscribe and we've got gift a subscription. Let's have a look. So if I was going to say so each box includes exclusive limited edition craft kit, all the materials and tools you'll need, you'll just need household items like a pencil or ruler. 
yeah, so in this case scissors and pot of water step-by-step -step photo instructions and online video tutorials so if you subscribe it's 26.95 a month with free uk delivery and you can cancel any time let's have a look at some of the other you can see a few of the other things here let's have a look at some of the past boxes to see what other kinds of things you get somewhere it says shop now they're still available they're not obviously these these older ones aren't still available now mostly so this one was rose quartz ombre candles oh this is one of the ones that i nearly chose when she said oh we'll choose which which one you would like me to send and i was quite tempted by this one it's to make these two ombre candles and there are little bits of rose quartz in there so you can put the rose quartz in and i did think i could have put some lavender essence in as well it would have been yeah um, so I was very tempted, I nearly tried that, but I have done candle making before, so I thought, okay, let's try something I've not done. Let's have a look at another one. Uh, this one's the Memphis Vinyl and Shibori Tea Towel. Oops, I have to click on shop now to have a look at it. So I think you get the tea towel and the dyes, and you get some stick-on vinyl stuff to cut um, shapes out of. Kit blends traditional shibori dyeing techniques with modern Memphis-inspired iron-on vinyl designs. Would be quite fun to play with. I would have definitely done my own thing with that. Um, here's the dish that I've got. Felt applique pouch. That's um, um, that's got the lavender with it and cut out the felted shapes and do some embroidery it's a paper craft tropical flowers french knitted craft bag i like i do i favor ones where i'm learning something new so um and, and getting a, you know if you've got a little tool to keep for later as well so in this case we've got the the paint brushes the rolling pin and the, and the clay tools to use again in the case of this one here we've got the um it looks like there's an embroidery hoop uh, there must be a french knitting dolly somewhere yeah, there we go. As well as the actual bag and the and the yarn to to do your your particular project with. Um, paper quilling clock craft kit, painting candles. There's all sorts of things. English paper piecing, punch needling, all bar jello plant pot. That's the one I tried last year. I'll I'll grab that in a minute and show you. I think I've got that handy behind me. Sashiko stitched pouch, mosaic. There's a yeah, huge variety of. Oh, I saw Johnny do this one, just Johnny, and um, I liked the look of this one. You do leaf printing and then stitch on it. I thought that was really pretty, actually. Handbound journal, all kinds of things. Wildflower engraved glass craft kit. I would have enjoyed that, but that's not available anymore. Yeah. So you can see good old good old variety of things there. I won't go all through it. I'm going to put a link to the website anyway. If you want to have a better look, you can. So um, that's quite a quick one to go through, actually. Um, so let's just... Uh, we've got a nice box. That would have been certainly... Um, if you got that as a gift, you'd be thrilled to bits with that. Well, I would be. <laughs> so I think that's all we need to look at for now with this box. I'm really looking forward to coming back next week and... Um, having a go at this activity and making it my own my kind of spin on this craft and see how we get on so thank you very much for joining me today hope you found that interesting short and sweet this one um i suspect the activity one is going to take a bit longer i will be back again tomorrow with stitch kit and stitch kit is a complete mystery to me what's going to be in that one so i can't wait to get in there um so see you again keep an eye out for that one if, you, if you're interested and then we've got one more to go we've got cozy craft club still to go and then i'll get into the activities so thanks again for joining me today hope you enjoyed that and i'll see you again really soon bye